Today we take a look at America's first female private detective Kate Warren, and how she helped save President Abraham Lincoln's life. The story begins in 1856 when a 23-year-old woman named Kate Warren asked for a job at the Pinkerton Detective Agency in Chicago. At the time, female detectives were unheard of. Warren ended up getting the job after providing Alan Pinkerton with a convincing argument. She argued that a female detective could gain access where a male detective couldn't, and therefore worm out secrets that would be previously unattainable. Warren would become very successful as a detective by posing as a Southern Belle. By doing this she was able to cozy up to suspects and gain access to information, and even obtain confessions. Warren's expertise would prove particularly useful later, when she was brought on to the team of Pinkertons hired to protect President-elect Lincoln. In 1861 Abraham Lincoln was traveling to the United States Capitol to be sworn in as the 16th president. On his trip, he planned to make many stops to visit the American people. At the time there were many threats against his life. Before the creation of the Secret Service, presidents relied on the military to protect them, but Lincoln rejected the idea of a military escort. So Lincoln hired the Pinkertons. Once hired, the Pinkertons would send Kate Warren to Baltimore, the only slave-holding city that Lincoln planned to visit on his trip to Washington. Warren posed as an Alabama society lady and hobnobbed with the city elites. By doing this she learned the details of a plot to kill the president. The plan was when the president switched trains in Baltimore, a staged scuffle would begin in the crowded station. The would-be assassin would use this as an opportunity to make an attempt at his life. Now that the Pinkertons were made aware of this they made a plan. Warren went undercover as quote Mrs. Barley and booked a sleeper compartment for herself in Philadelphia, telling a porter that her brother would be joining her. She tipped the man heavily to keep the seats vacant and to leave her and her brother alone on their trip to the Capitol. Pinkerton would soon arrive at the station, escorting an almost unrecognizable Lincoln. They replaced his stovepipe hat with a round beaver hat. Nothing could disguise his height, but Warren assisted her quote brother to a seat, the president stooped to disguise his silhouette and wore a shawl to hide his prominent jaw. Warren stayed alert to any threats throughout the trip and successfully got the president-elect Abraham Lincoln to the White House safely. Upon arrival, Alan Pinkerton sent a coded telegram to the executives who hired him reading, Plums has delivered nuts. Plums being the Pinkertons and nuts being Lincoln's code name.